Welcome to Coastal Safety. Here's our guide to latitude, longitude and GPS coordinates. The topics we'll discuss are what is latitude, what is longitude, the fact that one degree can be split into smaller 60 minutes and the minutes again can be divided into decimals and finally we'll talk about how to give a position by radio. First we'll look at uh, an example of latitude longitude, then we'll explain how the grid system works, discover where the starting point zero degrees zero degrees is, demonstrate through some worked examples, and then we'll talk about how to measure distances and we'll finish off with some top tips. So here's a boy, this is the, the South Cardinal boy, and the question is, what is the latitude? So we'll draw in a parallel of latitude, and you can see from the top left corner, the whole degrees is 24 degrees. Here we can see the minutes. The minutes is between 28 and 29, so we're going to call it 28 minutes. And over on the right-hand side, we're going to put some red numbers on there to show the decimals, and it's 0.8. So the latitude is 24 degrees, 28 minutes, 0.8 north. Now we're going to look, what is the longitude? So we're drawn in the meridian of longitude, and you can see from the top left it's 54 degrees. Here's 28 minutes, 29 minutes, and 30 minutes, so we're 29 minutes. And we'll put some decimals on there. On the top right there you can see we're going to be decimal 3 or 0.3. So that means our latitude and longitude, or the latitude longitude of that buoy, is 24 degrees, 28.8 minutes north and 54 degrees, 29 minutes, 0.3 east. Notice that we give the latitude first, followed by the longitude. So here's the world, and let's try and put some uh, a lattice onto the world. You can see here's the North Pole, here's the South Pole. We'll cut the Earth in half and put it two halves together, and the, the join, if you like, would be the equator, separating the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere. And we can put the Greenwich Meridian, which is the zero degrees longitude. So we'll start off with a, a blank earth, just to make things easy for us. Here's the equator splitting the top and the bottom. This is zero degrees latitude between the North and the South Pole. Running through Greenwich in London, UK, we'll put the Greenwich Meridian. This is called the Greenwich Meridian. You know, probably know this from the Greenwich Mean Time. This is where all the longitude starts from. This is zero longitude. So, now let's look at latitude in greater detail. We can draw a parallel to the equator, and that one would be 20 degrees north. This one would be 45 degrees north. This one would be 70 degrees, and this is 80 degrees north. And right at the very top, that's the North Pole, which is 90 degrees, 90 degrees north. Now let's look at longitude. Again, the prime meridian going through Greenwich. That angle there would be 20 degrees east. This would be something like 45 degrees east. This would be something like 80 degrees east. And of course, we can go right round the corner all the way to the other side of the Earth, and that would be 180 degrees. Here's 20 degrees west, 45 degrees west, 80, de 80 degrees west. All the way round the back will be 180 west. Now let's look at the, the latitude longitude with uh, on, on the actual globe of, and put some land on there. So here is zero degrees latitude. Here is 20 degrees north. Here is 40 degrees north. Here is 60 degrees north. Getting up by the pole, we're going to have 80 degrees north. And right at the very top, that will be the North Pole. We can also go south. Here's 20 degrees south. Here's 40 degrees south. Here's 60 degrees south and all the way down to the South Pole, which would be 90 degrees south. Now let's look at the longitude. This direction would be west and this direction would be east. Measured from the Greenwich Meridian. This is the Greenwich Meridian passing through London, the Greenwich Observatory in London. So here is 20 degrees east, 40 degrees east, 60 degrees east. Here's 80 degrees east, and of course we can go all the way around to the date line, which is 180. Here's the 20, 40 and 60 degrees heading in the west direction. So let's look at latitude a little bit greater detail, North Pole, South Pole and the equator. So we wanted to know 
x, let's say that's London, what is the latitude of London? So we draw a parallel to the equator and we measure the angle at the centre of the Earth. And if that angle is 51 degrees, we found London. So London is 51 degrees north, which is a parallel to the equator. Now let's have a look at the longitude. Again, we've got the North Pole, South Pole, draw a line between the two, passing through Greenwich, and that's the zero longitude or the Greenwich Meridian. Some people would call it Prime Meridian. And let's have a look at the position for Dubai. If we want to measure the longitude for Dubai, we measure the angle from the centre of the Earth between Greenwich and Dubai, and we find it's 55 degrees east. So let's have a three-dimensional look at that. So uh, as we mentioned before, we measure the angle at the centre of the Earth. So if we want to know the latitude of X, you can see the angle there would be 20 degrees, 20 degrees north from the equator towards the North Pole. And if we wanted to find the longitude, this longitude here is 30 degrees. So from the Greenwich Meridian heading east, along the equator that would be 30 degrees, an angle of 30 degrees, 30 degrees east. One degree is a bit of a big unit so we split it into smaller units just like a clock, one hour can be split into 60 minutes, one degree can also be split into 60 minutes. So one degree and 60 minutes is the same thing as far as angles are concerned. Here's some bonus information for you. One minute of latitude is also one nautical mile. So between this minute and this minute, this is one minute of latitude. This is one nautical mile. It's as simple as that. We can write it as one minute. We can say it's one mile, or we can write it down as one apostrophe, or one NM, or one big M. We'll look at that a little bit later. So let's put it into practical use. What's the distance between these two points of land? We put the dividers on there, bring the dividers round to the latitude scale. And you can see that's looking at 0 0.6, 0 0.6 of a minute, which is also 0 0.6 of a nautical mile. Really nice and easy. Here's another example. Here's Welligama in Sri Lanka. What's the distance between the yellow rock here? And Marissa point here, we put the dividers on there, take them round to the latitude scale, and you can see that's 55 minutes. This is the full degree. So this would be, let's count them, 55 minutes, 56 minutes, 57, 58, 59, and up to 60 minutes. So our distance lies between 55 minutes and 57 minutes. Simple mathematics, 57 less 55 is 2. So that distance would be 2 nautical miles. So here we've got a bit of an empty chartlet with some latitude longitude on the scale. And let's place a little golden disc on there. And let's, for example, say, what is the latitude of this? Well, here's the full degrees, which is 24 degrees. Here's the full minutes, which is 29 minutes. So this is latitude 24 degrees and 29. Now let's look at the longitude. Here's 54 degrees. And here's 28 minutes. So that position there will be at uh, those coordinates, as simple as that. Now we've moved it up a little bit, so you can see now that the, we're onto a decimal, so 24 degrees, 29.5 minutes north. The longitude didn't change because we moved directly north. Now let's just bring the golden disk down a little bit. We've got a new latitude, and this is 0.3, so the new latitude is 24 degrees, 29 minutes, 0.3 north. Notice that the longitude didn't change. Now let's move the golden disk along the towards east a little bit. So we'll now move our meridian of longitude across as well. And you can see that that is going to be 54 degrees, 29 minutes, 0.4 east.
So now let's have some, some points of land or points of interest there. For example, what is this navigation buoy here? See if you can work this one out yourself. Here's the longitude, sorry, the latitude line that we've put on. So what will be the latitude of that buoy? 24 degrees, 29 minutes, point zero north. Now what's the longitude? Longitude is 054 degrees, 29.1 minutes east. Here's some points to remember. When you're working on a chart plotter, the coordinates that you're looking for up here, you can see it says the vessel latitude and longitude, but down here is the cursor latitude and longitude. Here we've got a boat moving across, but notice the latitude and longitude of the cursor is different to the latitude and longitude of the vessel. So make sure that you give the right coordinates to the... So many people, by mistake, give the cursor coordinates rather than the vessel coordinates. Something else we need to be a bit careful of when you've got a chart within a chart or a chartlet as we call it. You can come over here but you must use the right scale because there's two latitude scales side by side. One is the chartlet scale and one is the main chart scale. So we'll zoom into this a little bit so we can see in greater detail. Now we measured on the actual chartlet, the smaller chart, so we need to use this scale here. So you can see that's roughly, what, one mile, something like that. But if we went over to the main chart, all of a sudden it becomes 5.9 miles. So here are some top tips. Always check the latitude scale and make sure you know how many of the individual segments equals one minute or which equals one mile. Remember that east longitude increases as you move towards the right of the chart. Remember that north latitude increases as you move upwards on a chart. Check that you're using the correct scale. Always count the minutes between the written numbers on the side of the chart i.e. 25 minutes, 26 minutes, 27 minutes, 28 minutes, 29 minutes, 30 minutes. One day it will save you from making a mistake. Always give your latitude first and the longitude second. Really that's what everybody does in the world. Might as well do it the same way. When measuring distances, always use the latitude scale directly to the left or directly to the right of the position or area that you're measuring on the chart. Be safe, enjoy navigating. Well, that's a quick guide to understanding latitude and longitude. We've got more videos. Feel free to come and join in and watch any of our videos all at coastalsafety.com or youtube.com slash coastalsafety.